leader chuck systems, I said it before, I'm going to say it again, work holding solutions have got a massive range, vices, chucks, collets, zero point systems, to name but a few, but they've got a new product in partnership with NCMT, Blue Photon. Will, tell me about it. Well, Colin, it's a brand new system to us. It's new to our portfolio. It's a great addition. It gives us the ability to be able to hold complicated parts very quickly to give five axis machining. It's called Blue Photon. When you say five axis machining, that's a milling, but it will do turning as well, it'll just Turning as well, yes, yeah. we've got a turning fixture which I can show you. Okay. This particular one here is a, is a shell bearing. It's internally and externally machined. Okay. So IDs, are, IDs, ODs, not a problem at all? No problem at all. Right. Obviously, by doing that, it's totally concentric. There, and also, the way that this is held, there is no distortion. Right, so with normal clamps, jaws, etc., you're going to get... You would, you would have the trilobing or however many... It would be very difficult to do it. And you would probably have to have two operations to do it. This obviously is a one operation. OK, what I want to, I'll come back to the components in a minute. What I want to do is look at the actual process here. So what happens? Right, well, first of all, on this particular process, we're going to put in our edge locators. So but this fixture in plate here... You've, you've manufactured oh, that for the client? This, is, this has been manufactured for a client. Yep. You can either manufacture them yourselves or we can do it for you. Okay. Put the so straight away I'm thinking uh, repeatability, accuracy and things like that? No problem at all because therefore you've got those in position. That drops on there. You've already seen the demonstration. Yep. So you know that there is a, a millimetre optimum distance between a given point and your um, clamps. So these, these hex bolts here, call them that, they're actually raised slightly higher they're to get that? They're raised slightly higher so that you get a millimetre of adhesive on that surface and then that goes into place there. Okay, so that's going to give you repeatability for if you're doing big, big batch runs? You, you can have big batch runs and again of course you're not uh, limited to the size of components. Right. One of our problems that we've, as you, as you already know, we have an ice chuck. That ice chuck is limited to what we can hold. Okay. A fantastic product, but limitation in terms of the actual plate. Absolutely, and this gives us greater flexibility. Okay. It also allows for coolant to be used while you're machining. Okay, so you've glued, you've glued this, put the UV light on it, is that yep. correct? Yep. And then you can machine five sides. In fact, you can probably get underneath there as you well. Probably be just to get underneath there with a small chamfering tool if that's what you was required. Okay, so now I want to go back to this example here. Yep. So this is turn part. This is, I mean, you... You can actually do this from solid billet, not a problem? No, absolutely not. Once you've got it in, all you need to do is to put it into place, centre it, okay. so that you've obviously got that concentric to your, to your spindle, and then away you go. Again, repeatability, not a problem, because you've got a certain funnel. Going back into the same position each time, Colin, and once it's held, it won't distort. Okay. Now, actually, putting these components on the machine, curing, curing the glue, for want of a better phrase, yeah. How long is that going to take an engineer? 120 seconds. Okay, so two minutes by two my minutes. simple math. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then cleaning it and, cl and clearing the glue after is relatively straightforward? It takes between, I would say, between 20 and 30 seconds right. to heat it with steam and to clear it off. Okay. Not a problem. So very, very simple process. Now, in terms of sort of materials, though, is there any restriction on materials? No restriction on materials. You can use it on plastics, ceramics, on metal, non-ferrous. The whole, the whole range. Okay. The big... Pro the big benefit to it for, for, from, from the machining point of view is that there is no distortion. Right, okay. So you're clamping this with three jaws, for example. Yeah, that would be obviously trilobed with yeah. that wall thickness. It, it allows you to be able to machine very complicated um, fixtures, uh, very complicated components yep. by simple fixturing. Okay. It's well used at the moment in the aerospace industry in America. Right. That's one of the areas that we need to look at very closely because of the fact that it can, as an, if you look at this particular piece here, it's a turbine blade, and that is basically put into one of those fixtures that has been developed for that particular machining operation. Any other industries or all industries? All industries, Colin. I mean, anybody that's holding anything that doesn't want to do it conventionally or can't do it conventionally, this lends itself to that. Okay. Now, next question. You mentioned about aerospace. I'm thinking, well, pretty much all industries anyway. What sort of ac accuracy will this go to? It is as accurate as you want to make it. Okay. There is no limitations. Right. 
it'll it'll repeat again the fixturing once the, once it's in position could be used on a zero point system so you've then got back to two and a half microns repeatability on a system oh. such as our zero clamp brilliant so repeatable accurate yep. intricate components yep. Anything else you want to add? Not really. I think as far as we're concerned, it's, it, it, it's a great addition to our portfolio and we're looking forward to getting it out in the field and doing some good business with it. Excellent. Well, great insight into the Blue Photon. Thank you very much. Thanks, Colin. Good to see you again.